Okay, so what we have here is an algu tumbler where I pulled out the original's balance code and I put my own in. The reason I did this is because I wanted to make sure that I had a balance code that worked on a proven robot when before I put it on a robot that I'm a little less confident on. And um, a couple things you'll notice is it's a bit wobbly. Uh, I mainly put that on the lack. I only put an hour of tuning for the PID, and I'm not using the built-in encoders for the wheels. I'm just using the uh, accelerometer gyro from the MPU. Um, so uh, next, we're going to go over the original's design, and I think it's just kind of a good comparison point. And uh, you will see that it is a bit smoother, and I really think that's because of just the PID tuning and the encoder data. So um, I think that's just kind of a good thing to see the difference. I'm going to let this play for a bit, and then I'm going to run down on the differences between our code and how I uploaded and uh, made the balance code work. So I'll just let this play for a bit, and we'll wait. Okay, so I figured it would be good to go over the code to look at the differences between mine and those, and it would also kind of help you if you want to do this sort of thing for yourself. So um, the first thing we're going to be look, uh, uh, going over is like this is the default code on the left, and on the right is the edited code for me. And um, the only real thing that you need to change, uh, or the only real thing that I changed, is the balance on this script. So there's one function called balance car, and that is where most of the differences are. And uh, I think the biggest difference between mine and those is going to be that I got rid of encoders um, because I'm trying to practice this for a different robot that doesn't have them. Um, and I'll just go over what's happening on here for a little bit, right? So you have the common filter, which is getting your angle, um, and then you uh, have a PD loop for your PID on the balance, and then there's a second PID loop for your speed control. And without the speed control, I've tested it by just commenting it out, and it'll fall over, and I'm not sure if this is because you have a badly tuned balance loop at this point, or because um, it needs the speed loop, but I found it helped a lot when I copied that kind of work. So, um, and then once you have your loops, you just kind of add them together, um, and then there's rotation as well, which is not really a PID loop. But yeah, so that's the core of what's happening in the thing. Um, if you go on to the right side, and then there's the balance car here, um, I commented out the encoders, I get the accelerometer gyro data, I use a complementary filter instead of a Kalman, um, so I'm taking a percentage of the gyro and an integral of the accelerometer um, angle. And then I'm actually, uh, this was important because uh, there's a lot of things built in that are using this common angle. So I just set it to my complementary filter angle. Um, and then we get to the PID loops. So I have a, I pretty much just use the P and D. I actually make the I integral zero. So for the balance code, I am uh, just doing a PD loop. And then I ended up doing something kind of similar to the speed, um, but I don't use encoders. I use the output. And what I'm doing here is I'm looking if my output is going in a continuous direction. I can say that I'm kind of going in, I'm, I'm continuously going in a direction. I must be rushing in that direction. Try and go in the other way. And that's kind of the logic here, where I just kind of take an integral of the output, and I use that to determine uh, speed, in a way. So uh, then I just kind of add the outputs or of the PIDs, and I put rotation. And you'll find the rotation is just, it's pretty simple. You just take your y-axis rotation, multiply it by the KD, and you try and get it to a certain angle. So 
Um, then you, once you have this, everything should just be fine on the Tumblr. You can just upload it. Um, it's an Arduino Nano. Um, so yeah, not a big issue there. I uh, hope this helps if anyone's trying to just get custom balance code onto the Tumblr. That's, that's pretty much it.